Hello, hello. Today we are looking at writing equivalent fractions. Our objective is when given a fraction, you will be able to convert it into an equivalent fraction. And what I mean by that is when given a fraction, you will be able to write an equivalent fraction for it. So I was thinking about what to say again, and I found this wonderful um, video on equivalent fractions on YouTube from a fourth grade teacher that does a flipped classroom. And I want you to watch that, and then we'll take it from there. So sit back and relax and um, watch this, and pause it if you need to, or write down any questions that you might have. Equivalent fraction that shows four eighths is equivalent to one half. All right, 
it's time for you to try some examples on your own. And you may do this in box three of your homework sheet. We have two-thirds being equivalent to something over nine, four-sixths being equivalent to something over twelve, three-eighths being equivalent to something over six, and one-half being equivalent to four over something. So try your best with these problems, boys and girls. And I think that this is supposed to be a 16. There we go, that makes it a little better. And try your best, and you can always review the steps if you need to remind yourself how to find equivalent fractions. And as always, if you have questions or comments or other strategies you use to solve these problems, please feel free to put those in box number four of your homework sheet, and we'll discuss them in class tomorrow. You've been flipped with Mrs. Monafo. Okay, well, I'm trying to figure out how to, how to get back to um, our time together. Here we go, here we go, here we go. So I was thinking of another thing as she was talking, and that is what if you're just given a fraction? If I give you like the fraction 1, 6, and I say write an equivalent fraction for that, what you do is you can choose any number you want. So let's choose, Mr. Lau, choose a low number. Three. Three. So what we do is we take the three and we're going to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by three and we'll get an equivalent fraction. Mr. Lau, what's one times three? Three. And Mr. Lau, what is six times three? 18. 18. So 1 6 equals 3 18 Let's choose another one. I'm going to change the color here. If I said I have the fraction 2 7 Mr. Lau, give me um, a low number. 2. 2. So we're going to multiply both the numerator and the denominator for by 2 if you were just given the task of writing an equivalent fraction. Two times two is? Four. Four. And seven times two is? Fourteen. Fourteen. So two sevenths equals four fourteenths. Fourteenths. All right? Next slide. Vocabulary. Get out your vocabulary book, notebook and write down the word equivalent. And equivalent means equal amount value or they're just equal to each other. After you've written that down you can pause it right now while you're writing that down. Here is a little quiz different from what she had some of its the same some of its different and it's quiz time and the quiz will be linked and here's your quiz there are four questions and um, remember like I said it's linked to this so you will fill it out on the computer and the last thing is, if you have any questions, write them down, and we will go over that tomorrow in class. That's it for now. So, shall we say goodbye? Goodbye. Scott. Goodbye. Have a good night, everyone. See you tomorrow.